everybody, Brandy here doing my comments for my Stampin' Studio today. I am definitely in the creative mood today. I am making uh, cards to prepare for some classes that I've got coming up and um, actually casing um, a card that I saw on a demonstrator's website. Um, I can't remember her name. I believe it's Kelly or Kim. Gosh, I'll have to go back and look and see who it is. But anyway, she made these adorable, cute little um, note cards um, that coordinate with um, the uh, box that... Um, oh, let's see here. That this frame lit makes. It goes right in there. And I decided that I was going to uh, case it, which is copy and still everything. And now I'm thinking I want to make this a little bit bigger as a regular uh, note card size. And so that's what I'm going to do today. So what I really like about this card is, number one, that it uses up scraps piece, scrap pieces of paper of the designer series paper, which is what I've got here. I've got just a bunch of different, you know, skinny pieces of um, of the Painted with Love designer series paper that I may or, you know, not be able to use in any other um, project that I've got going on, but definitely can use it to make these little tags here. So what I've done is basically I've cut down our strips to somewhere underneath uh, an inch, um, and it doesn't have to be the exact same size. I'm going to put this away. This is my card base, which measures four and a quarter by eight and a half. No, I'm sorry, five and a half by eight and a half, and then folded at full four and a quarter. That's my card base. I'm going to put this to the side. This is the um, card that I'm actually going to stamp on and actually work on. So what I'm going to do first is um, stamp the sentiment, which I'm using the um, just for you, and that comes from the Sure Do Love You stamp set that is in our um, Occasions catalog right now. Alright, so I'm going to use the Rich Razzleberry because it coordinates beautifully with this um, uh, designer series paper. And I'm just going to ink this up. And then I'm going to stamp right here. There you go. That looks good. Close this up because Lord knows I'm clumsy and I'll probably flip paper onto it. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut a few strips of um, paper to uh, make these little flags. I'm going to use my triple banner punch and the triple banner punch um, has slots for um, a one inch, one and a half, and two inch uh, piece of paper but um, we're going to use actually less than an inch. So what I have to do is, when I put the paper in here, just sort of eyeball it and kind of um, evenly put it right there where the tip is. And so I'm just going to line that up, punch it out, and then I'm going to kind of estimate where I want that to hang down. And it doesn't have to be an exact science. Oops. So I'm just going to chop that off, and I can always go back and trim that um, should I want to. So I'm going to do a different one, like this one. Yep. Okay. Let's see, this guy right here, I've already cut this one. like the hearts on this guy so let's do that I'm just gonna lay it out see how I like it what I want on top of each other that looks really nice let's see what else I got oh I got this pretty piece here let's do that one 
just this really nice way to um, use up some of your scrap paper. And uh, kind of like that. What else we got here? Where's those hearts? Oh, yep, there they are. Let's try to use this one. Can I line that up right there. So now that I've got that all sort of cut up, I'm going to uh, apply some gold metallic thread. And to adhere this, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically put a line of fast fuse on either side. I'm going to roll this out. And then I'm just going to kind of stick it down. And that kind of sticks to it right there. Okay. Then I'm going to just sort of um, crisscross this around. I think that's good. stuck on there because of that fast fuse. I'm going to trim. Alright, I don't need that sticking out. Oh no! Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I cut the, the string, or the ribbon, excuse me, the thread, but since it's adhered over here, I don't need to worry about it. Okay, now I want to start doing this. And I'm trying to decide on whether or not I want to um, pop this up on a dimensional, or do I just want to leave it the way it is? So let me see here. So you all are seeing my thought process as I go back and forth here on what I want to do. Let's see, I like that one there. That one, no. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty. All right. So I'm gonna start pulling this up and gluing it. I decided I don't want to uh, put it on dimensional, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of snail here, and then adhere that to that. Okay. Got a little bit of too much snail down there. It's okay. All right. Yep. That looks nice. Okay, and now I would really like that to be straight across. So I'm going to try to use my Stampin' Trimmer to trim that. That was my dog Riley. Okay, so you got to be kind of careful when you do this. You don't want to snag too much. So I'm going to put pressure down on this plastic um, guide and just try to go right through all of those layers. Ah, oh, looky there. Isn't that pretty? All right, my dogs have decided that they want to come join. <laughs> all right, and then I'm going to 
Uh, I think actually, you know what? I am going to put some dimensional dots on there. Uh, and when you run out, you can always um, trim up these side um, remnants of the dimensionals to basically not waste anything. So I'm just going to cut a few pieces for me to use. Just closer so you guys can see it. Uh, I think I might need another couple. There we go. That should be good. All right, so we just peel back the, the backing on the dimensionals. going to place it down like so. How pretty is that? Okay, let's see. Let's put some snail on this guy. And there's also that fast fuse back there, so that'll help put it down as well. Yikes, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that crap. <laughs> that gets me mad. All right, let me cut out another card base. Hold on. Always having to improvise. All right, so this needs to be five and a half. I'll make sure this is eight and a half. Yes, it is. So I'm going to score it at four and a fourth. All right, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. All right. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And this is basically um, a, a different, a bigger version of this little um, note card that I cased off of another demonstrator. And um, I thought that would be really pretty. That's what I'm going to um, um, have my girls that are, my ladies that are going to be coming to the um, launch party that I'm hosting on January 28th. They're going to make this card. And all of it was made possible from all these little scraps of the designer series paper, which I absolutely love. All right. You guys take care, and I hope you um, find your creativity today as I clean up my <laughs> messy stamping studio. Um, take care. Life happens. I comment. Stamp me some love.